Hello, I'm Dr. Somnath Sengupta, a faculty of Advanced Technology Development Center from IIT Kharagpur. And I am Dr. Deepankar Devnath, faculty of Electrical Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. We are going to introduce our product on Integrated Motor Come Vehicle Control Unit uh, for Electric Three Wheelers, which is in collaboration with our industry partners, Brushless Motors India and Eco AV. This project is actually funded by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. So let us see why three wheelers are important for us. There are several reasons. One is last mile connectivity, then affordability of the owners as well as for the commuters who opt for short or uh, medium distance transport. And this is substantial. And because of this, the market of e-rickshaw is ever growing. It's around five to six lakhs per annum in, for the Indian market segment, as well as the same number for the uh, surrounding countries. But the concern is the fuel consumption and associated emissions are growing enormously. As a result, automotive industry is shifting towards electric from the fossil fuel. Niti Aayog has proposed that all three wheeler to be converted to electric by the year 2023 ag aggressively. And it has created a huge demand for the subsystems of electric three-wheeler like motor, motor controller, etc. That is where our product is targeted to make a substantial impact on the Indian market as well as in the neighboring countries market. This is the powertrain architecture of a typical electric three-wheeler. Based on the driver's accelerator pedal command, the motor control unit uh, transfers the power from the battery to the motor. The motor converts the electric power to mechanical power and this mechanical power uh, gets transferred to the gear, to the differential, to the axle, and finally, the power is delivered to the wheels of the electric three-wheeler. Presently, most of the electric three-wheelers running on Indian roads have electric subsystems imported from foreign countries. Consequently, this is detrimental for manpower training as well as for indigenous development. And most importantly, this affects the uh, jobs due to EV subsystem uh, manufacturing. So what are the demerits of this imported controller? They lack proper specification and certification as per Indian requirement. They are mostly open loop controller. They lack regenerative braking. They lack safety, comfort and efficient feature. They lack E-range prediction and false status monitoring. Now some of these features are actually implemented using a vehicle control unit which is absent in most of the present e-rickshaw controller. To address this concern, we have developed an integrated motor cum vehicle controller unit for electric three-wheelers. In high-end electric vehicles, these are two separate units. But to make it cost effective and compact in size, we have developed them into a single unit. Now let us see the specification and roles of the integrated motor controller and vehicle controller unit which we have developed. The first component, motor controller unit, consists of MOSFET based inverter fed from a 48 volt battery. It is naturally cooled product and having a continuous power rating around 1.5 kilowatt. Further, it has four quadrant drive capability including regenerative braking. The second component, the smart vehicle control unit has several functionalities like range estimation, energy optimization, temperature monitoring of key components, torque restructuring, communication with the display, etc. These functionalities of the VCU are incorporated in the same microcontroller board which implements the motor control unit to make the solution cost effective. To make the package complete, we have also developed a PLDC motor indigenously for three wheelers. In our developed solution for the electric three-wheeler, our controller unit consists of a logic board and a power board. Further, the logic board has the logic of integrated VCU and MCU, whereas the power board primarily has the inverter and gate driver circuits. Since it has regenerative braking functionality, the braking signal is not only communicated to the wheels, but also to the motor controller. Now, let us see how we are implementing the features of motor controller unit and vehicle controller unit. These functionalities are implemented using a single chip dual core microcontroller. VCU functionalities are implemented using the master core while the 
motor controller functionalities are in slave core. VCU senses several parameters such as throttle, brake command, temperature, current, speed, etc. and take suitable actions like communicating with the display, torque command generation, e-rage est estimation, etc. The motor controller unit senses position of the motor via hall sensors. It receives the torque command from the vehicle control unit and accordingly generates the PWM pulses for the inverter switches to control speed and torque of the motor. As you can see from the torque speed efficiency plots, our complete package including the motor and motor controller is around 3% higher efficient than the available solution in the market. Further, E-range is enhanced by incorporating regenerative braking which is illustrated in this experimentally obtained waveform of battery current. Initially, the battery current is positive indicating that the vehicle is running and when brake is pressed, the kinetic energy of the vehicle is now stored in the battery and is, it is inferable from the negative current of the battery. Now what are the novel features of our product? The hardware architecture is such that both the VCU and MCU are, are integrated in a single chip product utilizing a dual core microcontroller making it compact eliminating requirement of physical connection through wires. The other feature is that it is customized for low cost, low power, low speed electric vehicle applications with focus on safety, control, improved drive experience and efficiency improvement features. Brake blending strategy is another feature which is integrated with the VCU for optimal distribution between regenerative and mechanical braking, strictly considering safety while optimizing the energy saving through regeneration and jerk control. The other interesting feature is that of the range prediction in which we have developed a novel algorithm for range prediction for electric three-wheeler for all kinds of driving scenario and uncertainties providing reliable information such as optimistic and pessimistic range. Another novel feature is the customized display unit providing several added information like remaining e-range, fault status, overloading condition etc which are not available in present day solution. One more novel feature is that the solution proposed is scalable for higher or smaller rating as the logic board and the power board are two separate boards. Now while the logic board will remain the same for different power ratings, the power board can be changed to achieve different power ratings to make it suitable for other application like two wheeler and heavy duty three wheelers etc. Now let us see a demonstration of this product in a running electric three wheeler. Hello, I am Yashdeep Shrivastava, Project Assistant at IIT Kharagpur. I am going to demonstrate the integrated motor control and vehicle control unit developed at IIT Kharagpur in association with industry partner Brushless Motors India. To complete the package, we have also developed a 1.5 kW BLDC motor for the same application. For the demonstration, we will be mounting the prototypes of the developed motor and the controller unit on a commercial e-rickshaw. The 1.5 kW motor has been coupled with the gearbox of the e-rickshaw, which transmits the power delivered by the motor to the wheels through an open differentiator. The power and hall sensor connections of the motor are routed through the wiring harness to the controller bay below the driver's seat. In the controller bay, we have the integrated motor control and vehicle control unit, which receives the driver input such as the acceleration and brake signals, and accordingly controls the electrical power sent to the motor. Now talking about the sensor interfaces, we have the throttle handle to generate acceleration signals, a switch to command forward and reverse direction operation. Similarly, a brake pedal indicates the amount of braking torque required, which allows the controller to implement the brake blending strategy by controlling the extent of regenerative braking. Along with these inputs, the controller also performs the thermal monitoring of all electrical subsystems such as the battery, motor and inverter with the help of the temperature and current sensor. The controller casing has been specifically designed keeping in mind the vibrational and thermal aspects of the considering Indian roads. Now a driver will operate the vehicle with four passengers sitting at the back. We'll demonstrate the forward and reverse motion and also the performance on a straight road as well as on an inclined road with 4 degrees gradient.
This technology is demonstrated in the required work environment with more than 80% of features verified in an actual e-rickshaw and so it is TRL level 7 as per Indian TRL definition. Presently, there is a huge national and global demand for electric three-wheelers which is around 10 lakhs per year. Our cost-effective solution will have tremendous impact on savings by avoiding foreign purchase impacting Indian economy. Coming to the social impact, it will lead to enormous job creation as this subsystem will be designed and developed indigenously. It will lead to less dependency on foreign product. On the safety front, based on present temperature of key elements, the torque will be derated if required, thereby enhancing component lifetime and Indian certification will ensure additional safety for components which means safety of driver and passenger will also enhance. The energy optimized control along with the regenerative braking will improve the e-range. Also better drive experience is ensured through jerk control, better display showing reliable information like fault status, remaining e-range which will reduce range anxiety. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, please feel free to write to us using this email IDs.